God is a faithful God. So why are you supposed to early today, right? Four o'clock, four o'clock. Four o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm starting now, so you, you've had your time. This will be my time now. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a good God, everybody. Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. His name is God. He is faithful. Hallelujah, Mama Mia. How are you doing? Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is God loving kindness, everybody. God is kind. He loves us so much. Care for us. Jesus Christ is Lord. He died to save us, to set us free. Our God is a faithful God. The Bible said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed unto us. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed unto us. That you and me will be called the sons and daughters of God. The Bible says, does not yet appear what we should be. But well, one thing is clear. One thing we know. That when he appears, we're going to be like him. We're going to be like the Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hey, Jesus is Lord, brother. He's God, brother. And he loves you so much. He loves you. He loves you. That's how it is from the beginning. He's God. He's God. He loves you so much. He loves Muslims. He loves Christians. He loves everybody. And he wants you to repent and to know who he is. He's God. He's God, brother. That's true. He's God. Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God, the Father in heaven. The word of God says, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess it. You must. It's not men, but must confess that Christ is King, that Christ is Lord. If you don't confess it, you're not going to make it, brother. Before you make it, you've got to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you want to make it to God's kingdom, you will definitely, definitely, definitely confess with your lips, with your tongues, with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, God bless you, my friend. How are you? Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God is a faithful God. If you're going to make it, you better confess. Because he is God. That's no two ways. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever and ever. And he never fails. And he never changes. He's a great God. He's a God that never changes. His name is silently lifted up above every other name. And one of us has the name of Jesus Christ every new bow, young man. Smoking is not good, okay? Our God is faithful. At the name of Jesus Christ, every new bows and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. It's a must. This is something that got to be done. If you want to go to the kingdom of God, you must bow down before the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There's no two ways. There is only one way. And that one way is through the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. There is no other name that is given among men, whoever who must be saved. It must be in the name of Jesus Christ. There is only one Savior, one God. God bless you, brother. One Savior, one Lord, one Jesus, one Christ, who died for us. God bless you, Mark. Our God is faithful, our God is just. That is one God. And his name is Jesus. He died for us. He died for his own. He died for you, sister. He died to save us, to set us free. 
our God is a faithful God. He remembers us. When he remembers us, he said, I will go. I will suffer with my people because I love them. Because I love you. God loves you. That's why he remembers you. And that is why he came. Yeah, ma'am. God came, died for you, to save you, to set you free, to deliver you from every works of darkness. Today is the day of salvation. Today is acceptable day for every one of us today. Young people, listen, if you believe, Jesus Christ will help you. Anyone that believes, Jesus Christ is there to help you. Our God is awesome God. If you believe, you will eat the fruits of the land. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Amen. If you believe, you eat the fruits of the land. But if you don't, you suffer. You glance your teeth. If you don't believe, you glance your teeth. But if you do, if you do, if you do, our God is faithful. Great is that faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He reigns forever and ever and ever. He is mighty God. He is a faithful and a just God. That's why we are here today to proclaim that name, Jesus Christ. To let you know that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Let you know that God so loves you. You are the one that God loves. You understand? God loves you so much, okay? Our God is faithful. Our God is just. What of God said, for God so loved the world. That's the greatest message ever preached. The greatest message that we ever preach. The love of God. For the love of God filled the whole earth. Love of Jesus Christ to us. That's why we are created. We are created because He loves us. We are made because Jesus Christ loves us. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. What a good God. What a faithful and a just God. Jesus Christ live and reign forever. Forever He will be the Lamb upon the throne. His name is so good. The reason why He made us is because He loves us, young man. That's why He made you. Because He loves you so much, okay? That's the only reason why God made us. And made us in His own image and likeness. Because He loves His image. And He loves His likeness. That's why every one of us today, we are made in the image and in the likeness of Christ who died for us on the cross. We are made in the image and likeness of God who came down as the world. The world become flesh and dwell among us. And we behold Him. We behold Him. We behold the glory. The glory of God in our midst. The glory of God among us. We behold that glory. And that glory is the glory of the only begotten Son. We behold Him. We hold Him. We live with Him. We walk with Him. We eat with Him. And He is God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one to be compared to Him. To become comparable. Because He loves us. No one else loves us. Let me tell you, every one of us today, there is no one that says, He loves you. There's no prophet that said he loves you. There's never been a prophet that said, I love Israel, or I love Egypt, or I love Syria. No. No. Because it's not in their hands to love. Because they are not loved. But when the love came, he said, I love you. For God so loved the world. That is the love. God is love. And that is why he came to save us. But oh, what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> that right is He's so good. God bless you. God bless you, okay? God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. No one like unto God. That's no one. That's no one like Him. That's no one. That's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. 
There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. Did Allah love you? Did Allah love you? Allah did not love you at all. He didn't love you. <laughs> Allah did not tell you that he loved you. Did he say that? He didn't say that. <laughs> But God so loved the world that he gave his only God his son, Jesus Christ. God bless you, Mom. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom. That whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. No prophet has said to you, I love you. That's no one. No one. It's only Jesus Christ that came to the world and says, For I love the world that I made. Because no prophet made you. There's no prophet that made you. The person that made you is God. God made us. And that is why he loved what he made. I believe that um, the car, car producers, they love the cars they made. Mercedes, they love Mercedes cars. Toyota, they love Toyota cars. Ford Maturas, they love all the Ford they made. Because they made them. They like the way they look. They made them in with their best. The best of their best. And that is why God made us. He loved us. He loved us. Our God is a faithful God. He loved us so much. He died for us. Save us, set us free. And that's what the word of God says. For God so love you. You are the world. God love you so much. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the word of God says, there is no rest for the wicked. Because the wicked do not love. There is no rest for those that hate. No rest. They will be running away. If they are not running away from God, they are running away from authorities. They are not running away from authorities, they are running away from those that are, that are not in good times. So there is no rest for the wicked. If you are a wicked, there is no one single rest for you. There is only rest for the righteous ones. Jesus love you, young man. There is only rest for the righteous one that believe. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is God forever and ever and ever. That is not like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. His name is highly lifted up. Today is the day of salvation, everybody. If you're a wicked man, if you're a wicked woman, there is no rest for you. If you're a sinner, there is no rest for a sinner. Who is a wicked man? Who is a wicked woman? A liar is wicked. An adulterer is wicked. Fornicator is wicked. Smoker is wicked. Drunkenness is wickedness. Anything you do to destroy your body, the temple of God is wicked. Because you are destroying something that does not belong to you. The body does not belong to us. So whatever you do to harm the body, you become wicked. If you hit someone else, you are wicked. If you fight with someone else, you are wicked. Whatever you do that hurts the body, that hurts the spirit, that hurts the soul, make you to be a wicked person. And the Bible says, there is no wicked. I can assure you that those that kill those that steal, those that cheat, they have got no wicked, there's no peace with them. Those that fight, there's no weak, there's no simple peace with them. Because they are wicked. Our God is a faithful God. There is no peace for the wicked. There is only, only evil that is made for the wicked. Because at the end of the day, the wicked will be consumed. Will be consumed with the fire of the Lord. Our God is coming. Jesus Christ is coming soon. You gotta believe it. You gotta know it. You gotta understand it. Amen.
God bless you. Our God is faithful. Young people, do you believe that Jesus Christ is coming soon? He is coming soon. He is the only one that is coming soon because he is God. The reason why he is God is because he died for us. He resurrected from the, from the dead. Our God is a faithful God. And before our eyes, he ascended to heaven. And before our eyes, he's going to come back again to judge us. Who else can do that? There is no other prophet that has ever done that. There is no other name that has ever done that. Every prophet that dies behind their graves. But I tell you, Jesus Christ resurrected from the grave. He resurrected from the dead. And he ascended to heaven before our eyes and he is coming back again to judge the living and the dead because he is God it's only God that judge I believe you've heard that word that said do not judge because you are not God the only one that judge is God God is the judge of the world he judges us he knows us he understands us the reason why that none of us here can judge is we do not know what is going on in the heart of men. But God knows. God knows your heart. God knows what is going on in your heart. As you are walking past quietly, smiling, God knows what is in your heart. Whether that smile greets your heart or not. Whether that smile is a smile of wickedness or a smile of mockery or a smile of shame or a smile of love. God knows. God knows who you are. Our God is a faithful God. The word of God says, God knows his own people. So because God knows, then God can judge. He's the judge. And who is God? Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. Why do you say Jesus Christ is God? Because he died for us. He came from heaven. He came to the earth. He became like us. He suffered for us. He go to the cross. He was crucified. He was buried. And on the third day, the grave could not hold him down. He resurrected from the dead. Glory be to God. He resurrected from the dead. No other has ever done that. No other prophet has ever, have ever done that. No other messenger has ever done that. It's only Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's only Jesus Christ that resurrected from the dead and eat with us. Showing us that he is God. God bless you. Showing us that he is God. When he resurrected, he eat with us. He said, I'm hungry. I am hungry. Give me food. You have you got any fish? And this is the man that was crucified. And this is the man that was buried. And this is the man that was in the grave for three days. But on the third day, because he is God, he put on a new body. We took to choose to take a new body because he made it, he created us. Our God is a faithful God. And that is why he is God. And that is why there is no one like unto him. And that is why he is God. He's coming back again, young lady. You see how God made you to be beautiful? It's God that made you like that. You know, Jesus loves you, okay? Jesus loves you. What a great day. What a wonderful day. God is a faithful and a just God. He made us. He loves us. And he wants us to understand that because he loves us, we should love our neighbor. Because if we don't love our neighbor, there is no peace with us. The reason why Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace is because he loves us all. He loves every one of us. And that is why he has the title. The Prince of Peace. The Lord of Lords. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The great I am. The Almighty God, and upon Him, and upon His government, there will be no end, because He loves us to the end. No matter whoever you are, God still loves you. Okay, Mom? God loves you, Mom. God bless you. God loves every one of us, men and women. God loves us in His own image and likeness. And that is why He came to save us. And that is why he came to deliver us. 
And that's why he came to set us free. Because he is God. Only him can save. Only him can deliver. Only him can set us free. Freedom is in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. There is no other name. Do you understand, young man? No other name. It's only the name of Jesus Christ. It's only the name of Jesus Christ that loves us. It's only him, brother. No other name. That's no other name. That's no other name. No other name. His name is God. His name is Jesus. His name is the Savior. He is God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Does it really matter what you think about Christ? No. It does not really matter the knowledge you have about him. You know why? Because Christ is whom he is. God bless you. Thank you so much. Because he is whom he is. He asked the Pharisees and the Sadducees and he says, Christ, whose son is he? Christ, whose son is he? And this is the people that should know him. Hello, young people. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. And this is the people that should know him. He said, Christ, whose son is he? And they say, oh, Christ is the son of David. And Jesus Christ said, how come now that David called him Lord? He's Lord. He's the Lord of David. He's not the son of David. He's the Lord of David. He's the Lord of God, the King of kings, the mighty God, the Redeemer, the Comforter, the mighty God, the coming King. He said, God, I never fell. He said, God, I never changes. He said, God, I never disappoint us. Christ, whose son is he? Instead of them to say, he's the son of God. Because they witness when that voice comes from heaven and conduct from heaven. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God spoke. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. In another way, in another place, the value of transfiguration, the mountain of transfiguration, God said, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Are you listening to Christ today? If you listen to him, he tell you who he is. He said, I am not the son of David, but I am the Lord of David. Glory be to God. He said, Abraham, you re to rejoice. That to see his day. The Abraham rejoices to see my days. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were confused. They were, they were completely confused and they say, You are not up to 50 years old. Why are you talking about Abraham seeing your days? God bless you, brother. And Jesus Christ said to them, Before Abraham, I am. Do you know that Christ is before Abraham? Our God is faithful. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. How is it going? This is fun. I think we can tell yeah! Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hey! It's a prayer answering God. God is good. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and praise because, Father, we, we stand on this ground, O Lord, we pray. We pray for you to intervene. We pray for you to make a way. Father, you did make a way. You did make a way. And you bless, O God, your son, O God, and his family, O God. Father, we are starting so God. But I give you praise and I worship you, Lord Jesus. Now, Father, you've given him, O God, the authority to go there and make discipleship. But I want to thank you, Lord. And now, oh God, teach him, give him grace. Oh God, grace upon grace, oh God, for us to sing to the glory of your name and to play to the glory of your name and to lift up your name on God in the name of Jesus. But I thank you, oh God, for your son. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for his family, for his wife and his children. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the grace you've given to him. And for I pray today, Lord Jesus, you're going to add more, more grace, more grace, more grace. 
more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. And you're going to do exploits. Amen. You will do great exploits. Amen. You're going to reach all the earth. All the earth. God is good. Amen. Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. God bless you. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Our God is good. Jesus Christ live and reign. And he is worthy. Worthy of our praise. Worthy of our glory. Worthy of our honor. That is none to be compared with the love of God. The love of God is too deep. It's too high. It's too wide. Do you know the love of God is bigger than you? Yes. Young lady, you are beautiful. God bless you. Our God is faithful. The love of God is bigger than us. The power of God is bigger than our power. The grace of God is sufficient for every one of us. The kindness of God is bigger than you. Our God is faithful. You know, some people, they, they swear. They reject God. But let me tell you, God is bigger than rejection. God is bigger than you are. And he loves you so much and he cares for you. And Jesus Christ loves us. He's bigger than us. Bigger than everything. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing praise to God. Sing praise to God. He is our God. He is the Lord. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing praise to God. Sing praise to God. He is a God. Hello, young people. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And you too. Have a blessed day, okay? And God is with you. Oh, glory. Oh glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, sing praise to God, sing praise to God, he is our God, he is the Lord, oh glory, oh glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, sing praise to God, sing praise to God, he is our God. He's a God. Listen to up here. Who is Christ? Who is God? <laughs> no. He's more than a prophet. He's the son of God. And he's God. Okay? That's why I ask you. I just want you to understand that he's God. I tell you now. Christ is God. He's the son of God. And he's God. And he's the Holy Spirit. That's three in one. Yes. Three in one. God bless you. God bless you. That's the divinity of Christ. That's the divinity of Christ. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is three in one God. And He loves you. God, God loves you so much. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. Can I show you that? Three in one God. He is God. He is the Son of God. And He is the Holy Spirit. It is three in one God. That's a mystery. It's a mystery. And that's why if you don't have the Spirit of God, you will not understand the mystery of God. It is only the Spirit of God that will bring understanding to you. How are you, Mom? God is you. Where are you coming from?
good. God is good. Mm. Let's serve him. Let's serve him. Let's serve him. We must praise him. Yes, absolutely. Everybody has stand up all the man them jump. Absolutely. Yeah, what this man has done. Yeah. yeah sir. God bless you, man. Okay. Thank you very much. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. God bless you. What a faithful God we serve. He's a mighty God. He's a faithful God. He's a God that never fell. He's a God that never changes. He's a mighty, mighty God. He's a mighty, mighty God. He's a mighty God. Mighty, mighty God. And mighty, mighty, mighty God. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. What a good God. He's great, brother. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's mighty. He's beloved. God bless you, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is everything to every one of us. He loves us so much. Jesus Christ is God. He loved the world. He loved you, every one of you. Even though many of you do not know him. Don't worry if you do not know him. He loves you. He loves you. Stay careful. God bless you, sir. Our God is good. He loved the Pharisees. Even though they do not know him. They are calling him son of David. He said, no, I'm not son of David. I'm the Lord of David. <laughs> God bless you, young man. God bless you. <laughs> he said to the Pharisees, no, I'm not the son of David. I'm the Lord of David. He's the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Oh, God is good. Say, your father Abraham rejoice to see my days. Your father Abraham rejoice to see my days. Glory be to God. And the Pharisees said, You are not up to 50 years. How, how, how comes Abraham see your days? And Jesus Christ said, Before Abraham I am. I'm from the beginning. I'm the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. And the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. And the word was with God. His name is the beginning. And he loved you, brother. Uh, yes, brother. Absolutely. He loved everybody. Be careful for us. So he said to the Pharisees, look, I am the beginning. And he said, you're not up to 50 years old. How do you see? How does Abraham see you? God is from the beginning, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. The Bible says, let him that have here, let him here. What is the spirit of God said to the church? What is the Spirit of God saying to the church? The Spirit of God is saying to the church, Christ is God. That's what he's saying. He's saying to the church that Christ is not the son of David. But Christ is the Lord of David. And Abraham see Christ. Christ was before Abraham our father. Christ was before Adam and Eve. He is the one that created Adam and Eve. Christ was before the war, before the creation. He is God. Who else? What a great God. You know, some people say Christ is just a prophet. Liar. You've lied. You've lied, you've lied. Christ is the God of prophets. He's the Lord of prophets, only prophets. He is their Lord. Amen. He made them. He created them. He's not one of the prophets, but he is the Lord of the prophets. Every prophet, no matter whatever prophet they are, no matter how big or small they are, God is their Lord. Our God is a faithful God. Both prophets, Abraham, to prophet Elijah, to prophet Moses, whatever prophet, whatever name they are, to prophet Muhammad, to prophet Isaiah. Christ is the Lord of all the prophets. He's their Lord. He's the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, 
the mighty God, the Redeemer, the Comforter, the Faithful One. There's no comparable with Christ. He loves us so much. Young lady. Oh, Jesus loves Muslims, don't you know? That's what I'm saying. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of all Muslims. Yes, he's the Lord. He's the Lord of all creation. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Maybe you do not know. Maybe you do not know that God so loves you. You may be a Muslim, you may be a Hindu, you may be whatever you are. God loves you so much. And that's why He is Lord. He is Lord. Every knee must bow down before Him. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you know that Jesus Christ says, he told the Pharisees, he asked the Pharisees, Christ, whose son is he? And they said, Christ is the son of the Pharisees. Oh, that Christ is the Lord of the Pharisees. Yes, he said, yes, he became flesh and dwell upon us, and dwell with us, and save us. Because without, without Christ saving us, I'm telling you, we're not going to be saved. There is no other prophet that saves anyone. It's only God that comes now. God will die. He came now to save us. He's everywhere. He's free. He's free. He's free in one God. The power is not the Holy Spirit. It is free in one God. It is one God. There's no other God. How can you put me a man? How can you put me a man? Because God is the man. God is not the man. God is not the man. God is the word. God is the word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was God. And the word was God. He was from the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. That word that came to live among us. He is God. Jesus Christ is the God of the prophet. He's a God of the prophet. He's a God. That's the God like the Christ. The Christ is God of the prophet. Yeah? And he is the God of the That's why he has the prophecy. from the beginning. He is the one. He was the one that was walking in the garden, in the garden of Eden. He is the one that is asking Adam and Eve, Adam, Adam, where are you? God was looking for man that is created. Jesus Christ was walking in the midst of the garden of Eden saying, Adam, where are you? Yay! <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. 
God bless you. Ah, uh, God is faithful. Ah, uh, God is child. And he was walking in the garden of Eden, and he said, Adam, where are you? Adam, what have you done? Why are you hiding away from me? Jesus Christ was in the garden. He said, Adam, where are you? <laughs> God bless you. Thank you so much. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow down before him. And then he says, because he is a humble God. Because he is a humble God. He came. He became the world. The world became man and dwell among us. And we behold his glory. The glory of the only begotten Son. We see the glory of God. We see the power of God. We see the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We hear about his name. We witness his name. We heard him. We see him. We live with him. We touch him. He's our God. He's not the God that is far away from us. He's a God that is very close to us. Jesus Christ is not a God that is far from us. He's a God that is close to us. He is very close to us. God with us, so close with us. God with us, Emmanuel. God with us, so close to us. God with us, he is Emmanuel. He is a God that is with his people. He loves his people. He loves to dwell with us and that's why he said, I'm coming to take you back to myself. I'm coming to take you back to myself. Glory be to God. Say, I'm coming back again. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. Yeah, man. God bless you. Thank you. He moves away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My God is coming back again. Oh, glory, glory, glory. He's coming back again. Jesus Christ is coming back again. God bless you, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is king. He's the risen king. He's the king of glory. He's the Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. It's your name. Oh, Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. It's your name. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. It's your name. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega is your name. Today, who do you think Jesus Christ is? Who do you think that he is? He is God. You understand, John? Jesus is God, okay? He is not the God. He is God. He is before Abraham. Before Abraham. Who else? Who else? But not God that is before Abraham. God. Before Abraham. Jesus Christ. But before Abraham, before Adam and Eve. He is God. He is God. He is a raising king. He is a prayer answering God. That's why he can do all things. He said, he can do all things for us. He is a God of all creation. He is a God of God. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha and Omega. We worship the King of God. He is a great God. He is a God of all righteousness. I belong to God. The Word of God says, once God has spoken, twice David has heard it in his ear. The power belongs to God. Power, power, power belongs to God. Because David is the Lord of God. Because Jesus Christ is the Lord of David. Jesus is the Lord of David. Hello. Jesus 
Love you. God bless you. She's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a great God. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ loves us. Jesus loves me. This I know. Hello, young man. Do you want to read? God bless you, sir. Thank you. For the Bible tells me so. Do you know that Jesus loves two of you? Jesus loves you. Do you know who is Allah? Who is Jesus? Make us, make us why the sun shines. Make us to know who you serve. Make us to know who you call. Some of us call Allah, but do not know who Allah is. Jesus Christ is God. He is God. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Glory be to God. He's the Messiah. Do you understand? That Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He's the Messiah, the Savior. He come to save. He come to set us free. That's the work of the Messiah. The work of the Messiah is to save. The work of the Messiah is to set us free. That is the work of the Messiah. The Messiah has come to save. The Messiah has come to set us free. And Jesus Christ is that Messiah that come to save us. He's the Messiah that have come to set us free. And he's the Messiah that is coming back again to take us back home. No order, no order, no other world. I believe you know that he's coming back. Why not belong to him? Why not belong to Jesus? Because we know that Jesus Christ is coming back. Why not belong to him? Because he is coming back again to take us home. Why not belong to him? Why do you want to be confused? Don't let man confuse you. Don't let man confuse you. Belong to Jesus Christ. He is the author of life. God bless you, sister. Amen. God bless you. Belong to him. He is the author of life, young man. Don't let any flesh confuse you. There is no confusion with God. There's no confusion in God. Because he, he, he produced himself. Even to his people. He said, you do not even know who is me. You are missed. But when he ascended to heaven, they know. Their eyes open. Even his own brethren. Even his own brothers. Their yeah, eyes open when he ascended to when he left them on the earth and ascended to where he come from. The eye of his own brothers were open. They said, So we lived with God. We eat with God. God is our brother. Yes, he's your brother. He's our brother. He's our brother. It's everything to us. What a great God. What a wonderful Jesus Christ we serve. What a mighty God. He's a faithful God. He's a just God. He said, righteous God. He said, God I never fell. He said, God I never changed. So today, that God that was and that is and that is to come, he's saying to us today, there is no peace for the wicked. Don't be wicked. Who is the wicked? The liar, sinner, adulterer, fornicator, haters. Fighters, those that fight, those that kill, those that shed innocent blood. They are the wicked ones. Those that steal, those who are theirs. They are the wicked ones. Those that kill innocent souls. They are the wicked ones. God said, they will not have any peace. And that's why you will not see a murderer having peace. He will not be at peace because he will always be at his back to make sure. So the person that he killed has not come up again to fight him. There's no peace for the wicked. But there are peace with the righteous ones. Once you are righteous, you have peace. And Christ is the peace, the prince of peace. And Christ is righteous. Hello, how are you? 
you are cute. God bless you. Thank you. Our God is wonderful. What a mighty God we serve. God is good. He is faithful. He is just. He is wonderful. He is excellent. How excellent is your name, oh God. Oh, how excellent is your name, oh God. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh God. God bless you, sister. Amen. How excellent is your name. How wonderful is your name, oh God. How excellent is your name, oh God. How beautiful is your name, oh God. How beautiful is your name, oh God. How beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name? How beautiful is your name? Oh God! How beautiful is your name? How beautiful is your name? How beautiful is your name? Oh God! What a God we serve! What a God we serve! What a living God we serve! He's beautiful. He's excellent. He's a loving God. He's a God that cares for us. He's a caring God, loving, caring, just, righteous, holy, mighty, Messiah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. God Himself. He is God. He is God. Jesus Christ is God. Our God never fell. Jesus Christ lived and reigned. He reigned. From everlasting to everlasting. He reigned from generation to generation. Before Abraham, he reigned. After Abraham, he reigned. Our God is a faithful God. Before Abraham, Christ is in existence. Before David, Christ is in existence. Yes? That's why Christ is God. He is God. He is wonderful. And he is the only one that resurrects on the third day without any help of any man. And he is the only one that ascended to heaven. While all eyes were looking at him, his brothers, his sisters were looking at him, and he ascended to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen, sister. God bless you. He ascended to heaven before our eyes. And then he said, the way I go, I will come back again. Christ is coming back again. Christ Jesus is coming back again. Our God is faithful because he resurrected and he ascended. He resurrected and he ascended to heaven. And he is God. And he is great. And he is the faithful and a just God. What a wonderful God. What a faithful and a just God. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever and ever. Amen. Forever Jesus Christ is, forever he will be. From this generation to generation to come. From the generation that's already gone, and the generation that you are in today, and the generation that is coming, Christ is the Messiah. He is coming back, and He is God. He is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. On that day, Christ will say to you, do you not, do you not hear that I'm coming back again? You are hearing it loud and clear that Jesus Christ is God. You are hearing it loud and clear that Jesus Christ is coming back again. You are hearing it loud and clear that Jesus Christ is the Savior. You are hearing it loud and clear that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are hearing it loud and clear that there is no one like unto him. 
You are hearing it loud and clear that Jesus Christ is before Abraham and he is the Lord of David. Therefore, follow Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only truth. Jesus is the only life. Apart from him, there is no way, there is no life. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. That is one way. That is no other name that is given among men, whereby we must be saved. It must be Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross of Calvary, who resurrected on the third day and ascended to heaven. This man is God. He lives and he reigns. He is worthy. Jesus loves you. Our God is great. Our God is wonderful. What a wonderful Jesus we serve. Oh, blessed be the name of God. So every one of us today, what do I want to, and what do I want you to take home? Take home today that Jesus Christ loves you. And take home today that Jesus Christ died for your sin. And take home today that Jesus Christ is God. And take home today that Jesus Christ is the Lord of David. Take home today that Jesus Christ is before Abraham. Take home today that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Take come today that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Take come today that there is no peace for the wicked. No peace at all for any wicked man, any wicked woman. There is no peace. No peace. No peace for the wicked one. The young one, be good, okay? Be good. Be good. God is good. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ never fell. We're going to begin to move now. Jesus Christ is Lord. The work is done. Christ is Lord. We have win. Always win us. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ loves us so much. That's why he came. He is a powerful God. He is a God that rewards. He says, my reward is in my hand to reward everyone according to what they have done. Say, my reward is in my hands. Hello, sister. How are you doing today? I'm okay, I'm good. Amen. I am good. Give me the staff. Amen. Yes. Nobody can give you peace but Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hey, my friend. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Yes. Everything come from him. The, the way that come from him. You know? Everything come from God. God bless you, man. God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes. And he is our peace. He is that prince of peace. Hello, young people. Do you know that Jesus Christ loves you? God bless you, sir. Thank you. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Great is his loving kindness. Great is his loving name. He cared for us. He cared for us. He died for our sins. He died to save us, to set us free. His name is so good, so good, so kind, so wonderful. He's exalted king. He's exalted the king. Oh, God bless you, ma. He is exalted. He resurrected from the dead. And he is coming back again. Jesus Christ. He is the king. You need him because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Apart from him, there is no life, everybody. You must know this, that there is no other name that is given among men. No one else can be the prince of peace. It is Jesus Christ that is the prince of peace. It is Jesus Christ that is the Lord of Lords. It is Jesus Christ that is the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, my friend, how are you doing? God bless you. God bless you. Jesus loves every one of us. Amen. Great is the faithfulness of God. Jesus Christ is God. He loves us so much. 
Jesus taught you. Indeed, you know. Hello. God bless you. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> My friend, I love you so much. Okay. Uh, God is faithful. Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Great is that faithfulness of God. God is great. Okay. We are running up right now. Jesus Christ is Lord. The truth has been sold, and many have buy the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no other truth except that one truth. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. That's one truth. That he is God, and he is before Abraham, and he is the Lord, the Lord of David. Not the Son, but the Lord of David. There's no other truth. There's no other way. It's just Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. Our God is faithful. Today is the day of salvation, everybody. God is good. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen.